In this video, we will fix a broken floor vase with a collar designed in OpenSCAD. This video was created as an addendum for the book Simplifying 3D Printing with OpenSCAD by Colin Dow. Please be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to make more videos. To create the shape for the collar, we use a contour gauge pressed against the place where we want to adjoin the two parts. Ensure that the body of the contour gauge is vertical. Using a caliper, measure the thinnest part of the vase. After getting the desired shape, we take a picture of the contour gauge. For our example, we use the program Scan Thing on the iPad. Scan Thing automatically removes the background. Using a photo editor such as Infinity Photo, we crop our picture such that the top and bottom are set to the top and bottom of the contour gauge. We import the photo into a vector editor program such as Inkscape. The size of the imported picture is set to the measured size of the contour gauge. Using the Bezier tool in Inkscape, we trace the contour shape. We then delete the contour photo and complete the desired shape using the Bezier tool. In the Document Properties dialog, select Resize to Content to crop the image size to the shape we created. Save the file as an SVG file locally. The OpenSCAD code for creating the collar may be found at the link shown here. Save the file collar.scad to the same directory as the contour SVG file. To utilize the code, we set the variable declarations for our measurements. Contour is the name of our contour SVG file. Diameter is the measurement of the thinnest part of the vase. Screw hole height determines the placement of the screw holes from the bottom of the collar. Radius and screw hole distance are calculated values. Screw hole distance sets the distance from the center for the screw holes. Countersink determines how far the screw is set into the back part of the collar. Screw length is how far the screw will go through both parts of the collar. To create the front part of the collar, we call the module Create Front Half in OpenSCAD. We do not need to pass in any parameters as they have been set in the variable declarations. We hit F6 on the keyboard to render the design and F7 to generate the STL file. To create the back part of the collar, we call the module Create Back Half in OpenSCAD and then render and generate the STL file respectively with F6 and F7. We slice and print both halves separately. Slicing is done using Idea Maker. The texture Something's Not Rot is applied to our object. Modifiers are used to block generation of the texture to the inside of the collar. We use a brim as a platform addition. Infill is set to 20%. An Elegoo Neptune 3 printer is used to print out each half of the collar in PLA. The two halves are then screwed together. For our example, we are using M5 50mm bolts. A 5mm tap was used to make it easier to screw the halves together. Once assembled, the collar may be painted and installed on the floor vase. Thank you.